Hello, Apex Legends community. Hello, the ISB community. I have the patch notes for the double down and the double take event. This is season 21 split two event. First of all, before we get into this, I would like to say thank you for the 1 million lifetime views on the YouTube channel and also for the 2.3 or is it 2.4 thousand subscribers. Uh, I appreciate y'all. We've been growing very quick over these last few months, and I want to continue guys to bring you guys the content that you deserve and the content that you want to see. And I know that every single day you guys can ask me for patch notes. So I'm just going to go over them off screen. So I will be fully focused so I can give you guys all my thoughts and all of my attention. So without further ado, here we go. Let's zoom in a little bit because I already know. You guys are going to want to be able to read as well. So, yeah, so double down, double take collection event, season 21, split two patch notes. Uh, so they are bringing, oh, let me just make sure I go in order. Let's see, extra friend, quads. Uh, collection event, 24 mind bending event cosmetics, lifeline prestige skin. Okay. Quads take over. So solos is going away. They're bringing in quads, 14 other squads. That's going to be very interesting. I will be playing quads with subscribers. And I'm going to let you know this right now. Members have priority. Cool. Blue pool has been updated to avoid fighting for ammo, attached and regen items. Huh? Okay. <laughs> Trying to do small. Okay. That's interesting. Always the evac tower of Valks, I would dive. Nah, dog, the carry just is not in the trident. They already know. That triple take looks nice. That conduit skin looks ridiculous. Oh, my God. Is this Rev? Nobody cares about Rev. This, I, whoa, these skins actually look pretty cool. No, not this one. We don't like to use. This one's actually terrible as well. Elsa looks dope. Huh. Okay. Lifeline prestige skin? Ew. They really need to start doing prestige skins. AJ Shade looks fire, though, but they really need to start doing prestige What is this fucking Cossack's baby sister? Like, <coughs> yeah. Uh, Apex Corruptor for this Redoculus. It's kind of weird. Uh, Valk skin, 30 30 skin, a couple of things. Oh, it's not too bad. Store tab, the June 25th to through July 9th. Get those in there. Ranked Rumble. Finish off your ranked season by finding out who takes the top. Ranked Rumble, August 3rd through August 6th. Ranked season will be shorter when Ranked Rumble takes over. It's all about the best of the best. Each ranked team will qualify you for your very own leaderboard, with each one having a unique badge that can be earned. Hmm. hmm. Spot up with your friends, complete your 10 rank rumble matches, pushing your score to place as high as possible. No need to opt in. Everyone who has already achieved rank this season will auto eligible. That is interesting. Your rank level pace will have no impact on your RP or rank places rewards. They those are locked in before your rank level becomes available. How you cycle against everybody else in your rank. That's the third to the sixth. Um I Saturday. I'm guessing the new split is the new season's August seventh. That, that would make sense, huh? That's gonna be interesting. I, I want to see. I want to see more notes on that. All right, balance changes. Care package. Purple light mag added. I did not know that there was not a purple light mag inside of the care packages. That's interesting. Gold rep and rotation. It is Nemesis triple take PK prowler longbow. That's it's that's that's what it is right now, right? Yeah, that's exactly what it is right now. Okay, whatever. End rings have more even distribution through the map. Each quadrant of the map now has roughly a 25% chance of getting selected. That, it took them 21 and a half seasons to do this? Okay. Survival slab items slab has been redistributed into the lower tier zone loots. Yeah, when they remove this from from the lower tier areas, like like you go into a POI that has like no tier, uh, like 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 there's like a no tier loot, like a, like an in between POI, right? They normally will not have any survival slot items, but now it's back. Like so so imagine your team just gets like 
destroyed and you're looking for a mobile respawn, unless you go to a big POI, you're not going to find a Moby. And uh, that has returned. So that is interesting. Weapons. Damage. Uh, hold on, wait. Before I go into that, Survivor Side Islands not spawning in all of our loot quality zones. And just being maintained. And, okay. Not yet. More. Okay. Yeah. Like I was saying. Same thing like I was saying. They just weren't spawning there. So G7 has one more damage, baby. My, it, it, it returns. And you can shoot it faster. Just to recoil be more specific. One fire max fire rate. Okay. G7 returns. G7 was underwhelming. But it's back. Okay. It's back. Okay. 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 Havoc. All max has are reduced. Is that it? They took four off. Four off is that is a good start. It brings it back in line with uh who has 20? R3 has what 17? 20's flatline, right? I believe so. But it it brings it back down. It's still strong as hell. Do not get it mistaken. Havoc is still strong, but it's going to 1v3 a little bit less, but you still will get put immediately in the dirt. Do not get it mistaken. The Havoc is a force to be reckoned, even though the bells and whistles. Turbo Charlie still puts work, however, 36 rounds of Kiva Havoc, even with fire and delay, represents a high damage, uptime, and forgiveness for wasted rounds. All things experienced on pre-file, I'm pulling back on his mag, or remains a deadly, but it requires a little bit more precision. Yeah, the position is there, right? So when you're slowing them against good players, you're still gonna get put in the dirt. Is what it is. Uh longbow has more headshots. Okay, a little bit more reliable. R9 buff? Reduce hip fire randomness? Okay. Okay. Maybe able to hit more hip fire shots. It's not gonna do anything crazy to it, but we'll see. This won't directly increase his damn potential. I see what they're going for there. Rampage. Frying animation has less of vertical movement while ADS. Thank you, because that was very, very, very distracting. As long as it doesn't look crazy, it should be all right. Uh, weapon rarity sets. Peacekeeper blue and perp. Wow, they got rid of the bruiser. Thanks, because that was the worst shit ever. Charge rifle. Updated to 4.8. Was it 2.4? Gun run will keep 2.4. Well, I don't want this to come with a 4.8. I guess M&K wants that to be a 4.8. Four times four by ten will no longer revive through smoke or gas. So with a digi, you can no longer see through smoke or gas. Who asked for this? It's a four by ten. The rarest item in the game gets nerfed for what? Who asked for this? Whatever. Legend changes. Void Passage Crypto EMP will now affect all players phased by the Void Passage. Oh, tech got nerfed. GG's. G fucking G's. This was a very strong thing. I don't think that it needed to be nerfed, but it's nerfed. GG's. Bangalore. Smoke launcher. All players within smoke will now have a white highlight visible to other players in smoke within 20 meters. Oh. Fighting inside Bangalore smoke has never been a pleasant experience for players or viewers. As that's from you, Bloodhounds, as it, may fight, as it makes fights messy and hard to read. Very lovingly playing field by making all players inside smoke clear targets with one another with a white highlight. This highlight is not visible from outside the smoke. All the rotational and sight blocking gameplay are kept intact. However, while playing inside smoke will be more clear, and also be more risky, and resets are much harder if the smoke is challenged. Oh my god. Bang Blood Caustic? Possibly. Hmm. That's interesting. Bloodhound. Also. Oh, Beast of the Hunt threat is no longer visible through smoke or gas. Okay. Little do you guys know, Caustic is now God. 
Caustic is now God. Big stinky stocks are on. I'm playing Caustic. I'm playing Caustic. Upgrade level two Ravens by some all charge now reached the 20% was 25. Now it takes five Ravens instead of four. Interesting. Now this is actually a bad thing to get. It's actually a bad thing to get now. Oh well. Level three. New reduced attack cooldown by 50% while ultimate is active. Yes. Yes. New flock remove enemy range requirements for white raven spawns. Ooh. Never mind. Oh my god, never mind. The only the only thing that might be weird about this, the only thing that might be weird about this, because you know when you when you when you slap a right raven with your with your attack, it takes uh my fault, it does not take the cooldown. If I hit my raven and enemies, will it take the cooldown? I need that answer. Because if 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 that's the case, then I don't care about this. I will for I will be permanently in Bloodhound ult. But let's look at the rest of this. Oh my god. Okay. Sometime even the best teams break up, go this separate ways. Bloodhound ult I'll always been a strong synergy. Bangalore smoke, but a pairing has recently become dominant in the single answers that to the can't see stuff meta with the removal of digi threat through of uh, removal of threat vision through smoke bloodhound will need to rely on their tech scan like other recon legends that should remove the necessity for the dynamic duo to pair together and will allow for new roster competitions to form in its wake crypto we're noticing how much right waves and passes will fall off in late game as enemies you guys hear me say this all the time the white ravens fall that the your level one falls off in the end game because they're nearby players all the fucking time. And they just literally got rid of that to making it stronger. Let's value after the after the first ring, first couple of rings. New level three upgrade will allow players to play off white ravens across the match and feel their alt more effectively. So it would also reduce the, the fucking need of ultimate accelerants for so often, which is very interesting. Ultimately, players can now tap back into some of Bloodhound's old scan potential while we're using our alt. These changes aim to shift power away from simply securing knots for late game, benefit more opportunities to use the alt or the tack through upgrade choices, which is very, very interesting. Oh, yeah. And these are what they kept, what they got rid of. Very interesting. I, I enjoy it. I like it. I like it. This is good. But he's still, he's still pretty nerfed. Still pretty nerfed. But... He's not going to be terrible. Still pretty nerfed. Like you can use, like you've always been able to like before Bang got into the meta, Bloodhound was used before Seer. Even during the Seer days, Bloodhound was used. So Bloodhound is not leaving the meta. Who's leaving the meta? Bang. Bang is going to leave the meta. Maybe. Or maybe they're just so stuck in their ways that the Blood Bang is going to is going to just stay. We'll see. Bang Crypto bang or oh yeah you just smoked <laughs> pathfinder upgrade level three down and away tack will now refresh on both knocks and assisted knocks within a three second window pathfinders up baby pathfinder stocks are up baby holy that's gone crazy That's kind of nuts. I enjoy that. Revenant, we hate Revenant, but let's see what he gets. Tack will now refresh on both knocks. Okay, yeah, I, I don't like that. Whatever, go away. The maps for pubs. Broken Moon, KC, Olympus. They got rid of World's Edge and gave us Olympus. Yeah, I'm going to be playing a lot more ranked. Broken Moon, Olympus, World's Edge. Yeah. Um, yep. World's Edge... On World Edge Ranked Day, guys, I'm playing straight ranked. Don't ask me to play with you. I'm playing straight ranked. Modes, quads, replacing duos for season 21.1. 15 teams of four players. It's going to be interesting. Oh, who's going to get the first 1v4 clip? <laughs> who's going to get the first 1v4 clip, bro? I'm, 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 gonna, I'm waiting to see it. Loot improvements, chance of the vine. Okay, yeah, this is just for the quads mode. Lobby supports a fourth player and invite our previous match squad members. That's going to be interesting. Very interesting. I want to see if that's gonna bug out in quads leaks in the trios. Or quad if quads 
If quads accidentally leaks in the trios are ranked, GG's. Calling it now. Pre GG's. I don't know if you guys remember the old day where there used to be nine players on a team, like legit, like bugged into the game. I think that was like season like eight. Like around the same time Olympus got its first map update is when that was in the game. Or there were just mad people on one team. And people were running that shit down at rank. This is on console too. You guys can probably like look up the YouTube video. This shit was nuts. Absolutely nuts. Solo LTM from the J July 9th to the 22nd. It's pretty dope. I'll almost be locked here. Yeah. They'll find a way around. Buddy. Oh, yeah. And they, uh. Oh, they. Oh. Oh. Decoys four members. Valkalt's, uh, four people. Vantage passes will show everybody. Lobo's ultimate could do four people. Okay. That's dope. Increase the rep play side account from 12 to 15. What the fuck is that supposed to mean? Oh, well. Mixtape. Lockdown. Out of the corn estates. Okay. Controls. Caustic Labs. And Caustic Labs. And Thunderdome? Labs. As in, like, as in KC Labs? And Thunderdome. Oh, it's okay. I know. I know. I know. Okay. All right. Estates, Fragment, Zeus, Habitat, Core, Estates. Okay. Labs. Am I tweaking? Is this Kings Canyon Labs? Is what they added? No shot, right? I must be tweaking. I must be tweaking. I must be tweaking. I don't really care about that, though. Rank Rumble takes over the normal rank leave at the end of the season as a singular rank, as the singular ranked offering. Rank entry cost placement KP updated to lower entry cost above bronze tier, 35, 55, 75. So you're down by five. Placement RP tuning now. The AGS rules all top 15 will gain points. Kill tuning. We received valuable insights from last year's day and community feedback slight adjustments based on correspondent placements, points, KP, six to eight position with position. So they're going to try to go back. Wait, we reward players for extra strategic size and place with an outstanding combat performance kill. The team in top five placement may waste is your strategic choice, but we won't reward you with additional points. You must validate your placement with eliminations. So it looks like this ranked rumble thing is what they're going to try to test the new split based on old like what's names and they're going to be going a little bit more towards algs rules and so instead of getting no points from all the way up to 10th place you're going to get five starting at 15th which is okay and we're going to get from eighth place and up you're going to get what 14 14 16 and then up from like two and in increments of two so that everything is being 12. Okay, so it's, it's going to change. It's going to get a little bit more points, but it doesn't seem like it's going to be too crazy. Just a couple to a few more. So you, you don't have to worry about the, 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 the 250 to 300 caps that you've been hitting. Then bug fixes. Okay. 3030 repeater will no longer swap to a different reticle when we're loading. That was a bug. Harvester, Evo Harvester Arc will no longer appear incorrectly for those who reconnected, connect late to the match. Okay. Fix the F-Poise that allows players to move faster than normal. Sigma Step? Did they just get rid of Sigma Step right there? Mythic Melee Islands will display the reflecting names and death recaps. Oh, okay. Yeah, that, that makes sense because everything was just Qatar. Nessies will no longer be occasionally extremely bouncy. Oh, damn. The Twitter memes is about to go, about to dry up. Players would no longer be able to shoot enemies while safe behind cover. That, that weird ass fucking climbing jump M and K only W thing is gone. Thank you. Even though I've never ran into that, just I'm glad that it's gone. Before the entire world was just abusing that, right? Uh DX12 on PC, you got some bug fixes. Nice. Players should no longer get stuck in the ceiling of has a W stuck projectile says so R sub now fall off correctly. Yeah, sometimes you get stuck 
go through the thing and then it will blow up while you're going through it very bad it's supposed to be fall they're supposed to fall off at the beginning of the port sometimes they didn't tech void siphon the interactive part no longer missing a cooldown effect okay Hopefully you guys do not hear my dog barking outside. He's barking at birds. I'm sorry. A catalyst piercing spike no longer activated by Marvin's. That's dope. Piercing spike no longer blocked by Gibraltar's gun shield. That was a thing? Gibby could just have his gun shield out and get, not get affected by Cat Q? That's nuts. Ashes Arcstar will no longer be occasional bounce off, bounce off forward shadows. Oh, that's weird. Quality of life. Added a sex. Ooh, guys, guys. Added a settings option that adjusts the gameplay volume when spectating. So, you know, after every time they die in, in scrims or in Pro League or whatnot, they go straight to the option, turning all the way down. They don't have to do that no more. You just gotta automatically do it for them. W Apex. Appreciate y'all. Uh, add a different voice line for Void Next is being destroyed by the ring rather than a player. That's huge. Add a logic to prevent case of void pass resulting in falling to your death post travel. Olympus should be safe ish. Fucking see. Add a rumble to alters alt and tack. That didn't have vibrations before. It's interesting. I played my vibrations off, so I didn't even know it. You know, sound effects not play when previewing in the lobby. You need to turn a setting and turn this off too. Oh, you're about to get emote spammed in the lobby. W. Health will cannot be. Closed on controller with LT in addition to circle on. Oh, I can just ADS and close my health wheel now. W, and I can use it by. Okay, so I can close it with left trigger with 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 ADS, and then if I shoot, it uses it. Oh, that's nice. Ten minute match time for all mixtape modes minus control. Okay. Okay, 10 minute games. They they fixed the spawn logic on all these shits. Lockdown is just lockdown, it's whatever. Fix a little bit of graphics things and switch. W. Alright, that's it. So what do I see happening here? Caustic just got fucking buffed to hell. Uh and it wasn't it was no direct buffs at all. But Caustic just got buffed. His gas will be a lot harder to, to actually see through. <laughs> Bloodhound Bangalore did get nerfed. They 100% got nerfed. Um, but you, I can definitely see that the majority of players are still going to use it. Probably for the next split until they figure out what's actually better. Because right now we're in a spot in Apex where there's not... Things are getting balanced. Things are, are actually starting to become balanced and with things being balanced people aren't going to be able to find their identity of what they want to use to abuse the game right they don't know they don't they don't have their tier list they don't have their their call of duty copy paste loadout of what they should be doing to succeed in the game right so it's going to take a little bit of time for players to figure out what they want to do and how they're going to adjust to the game because the wall hack meta is literally never going to go away. If people are going to start bringing out Seer again, they'll bring out Seer again. If they're going to just use Bloodhound regardless, but just drop Bang because that synergy is not as strong anymore, they'll just do it. Are they going to, may they probably bring out Catalyst again? I actually see in Cat Seer coming back because that interaction still works. I don't, got, I don't know if you guys know, but Cat Seer, uh, you drop Seer ult because he no longer shows diamonds for his ult. He shows the footsteps. You see the footsteps through the Catwall. So you won't be shooting diamonds through it, you'll be shooting footsteps. And so it's not as accurate. And if they jump around, it can obviously cause a little bit of, uh, of turmoil for you. But it's doable, especially if you guys are in like a squirrely situation or you just nade stack the other side of the wall. So pre-cat uh cat seer meta. I a hey, cat seer caustic. Mm, double control. Mm, hard zone. Mm, cat seer valk also. Mm, mm. Hmm. I'm sorry. I can definitely see that coming back. Uh, Havoc is still strong, but it's not as strong, so you won't see, you won't see people one v three with anymore. Still one v twoing, but not one v three. Hopefully, G seven does something in the meta. You might see me using G seven a little bit, which will take a little bit. But I still love the G seven. G seven is a very strong weapon. Very uh, 
very good thing. Longbow might get a little bit of might get a little bit of love. R9 still useless. Flatline is gonna see a little bit more use as well because it can actually like go toe to toe with the havoc a little bit. Um, but that's about it, guys. Hopefully you guys learned something from this. Hopefully you guys see a little bit of my insight and apply it to your gameplay. Once again, thank you for the one million views. Um, I will be live probably tomorrow on the 21st. If you guys are seeing this, like I said, like, comment, subscribe your thoughts, your opinions with, if you think I got something right, if you think I got something wrong and hopefully, uh, we'll come back, spin the block on this video and see where my predictions and what I say are going to go until next time. Love you. Mwah.